Hi, my name is Jill Niebuhr. I'm Angel Warrior and welcome back to another talk. I want to talk today about ebb and flow. So you know, as you know, I've, came, I've been coming out of the wilderness period of my life and the last three months have been my reintroduction. So I'm ready to go back home and start my life over again. So what these last three months have been like for me has been really up and down. I would get, you know, baby steps in the right direction and then I would fall back. I had a really bad loss in my life about a month and a half ago and it put me out for like two or three weeks. I was watching horror movies constantly. I watched some good ones too. Crawl was really good. It was about um, being caught in a hurricane with alligators. And I watched um, this one where they were trapped in an elevator. That was pretty interesting. I just watched movie after movie after movie until I was ready to start working again. So, I started with Lavelle and I started reaching out to people in my circle and I started out with eight contacts a day and now I'm up to 16 and I'm doing my follow-ups and I am it takes about two hours every day to keep up with my Lavelle stuff. And my goal by the time I leave here on the 19th is to have up to four hours um, a day on Lavelle, which would bring me at a full-time work schedule, which is 32 hours a week. Then I'm also looking at doing this like waitressing at a local cafe part-time. And I'm going for my last semester of school this fall. So um, even though even though starting out was a lot of fluctuations, I feel like I've been really consistent the last month and I'm ready to go home. I went to my home a couple times and it was really nice and it was really refreshing to be back. I appreciated things that I wasn't appreciating before, like I got a new bed before I left and now I just think it's the best thing in the world. Um, and I'm going back again this weekend to, to, for two days. And so um, the ebb and flow of life. Um, one of my, mu my music mentor, she said um, that, you know, we go through seasons in our lives. And, you know, one season might be school, one season might be work, one season might be kids, one season might be um, taking time for yourself. And so, and then you might have work again. But knowing that we have seasons of life helps us to be able to understand our life in context. And so the season of my life for the last year has really been about refinding myself, my purpose, um, being healthy for my work and a family and life as a normal person, which is really exciting for me because um, a little bit about my history, I was traumatized when I started school after high school, when I started college after high school. My third year of college, um, I went through a major trauma and it brought on all of these mental illness problems, depression, schizophrenia, PTSD, um, even some bipolar symptoms I was experiencing for a little bit. And this was back in 1999. And since that time, I have gotten out of depression, gotten out of the bipolar system, symptoms. I have healed my liver, which I had an autoimmune disease too after the trauma. Um, I have healed addiction, codependency, um, other things that I, relationship problems. I have a healthy support system today. I'm healthy. Um, I need to be on a little bit of medication still for my trauma, 
but it's minor. And in the long term, I expect that dose to even go down even more. And so I'm excited to get back to my apartment and like buy my fresh fruits and vegetables. I'll be on a better diet. Um, I'll be able to work out more. I'll be able to re-access the community and my community supports. Um, and it's just really exciting to know that I'm almost done with this season of my life. And I'm entering a new one very quickly. So um, this is all about growth for me right now, growth so that I'm ready for what I'm ready to, so I'm ready to encounter the real world again. And I've got my second edition of my book that was supposed to be coming out this next month, but I'm not sure if that's delayed or what. Um, I'm waiting to hear back on that. And I've got my third album written, but I don't have the music done for it yet. Um, and so, and I'm looking at running for governor of Minnesota next year. So that's a lot of stuff that I have to look forward to. And I've created that. I've created that from my wilderness period, from my, from my period of deep searching, deep seeking. Also, also, a big part of it has been saying no to people who say your life has to be this way or your life is supposed to be this way. And um, like people have told me I couldn't heal before and that's just not true. Um, Healing is a very natural thing for the body, and if it's given the chance and the right ingredients, it will heal. Um, so that's been a big part of my journey, especially through the wilderness period, was knowing this is why I felt so disconnected from everyone was because I realized I was going to take my own unique path, not the path someone else wanted for me, not the path that others thought I should take, not the path that other people take, but the path that was right for me. And that was really what it was about for me. And now I'm in that path. I'm, I'm just slowly entering that path. And it's just a beautiful time in my life. I feel a new sense of energy, a new sense of purpose, um, new meaning. Um, it seems like everything that I needed to happen is just falling into place and it's really a beautiful thing. So I'm gonna keep this one short, but thank you for joining my talk and I'll see you next time.